welcome to another episode of PLA with myself, Nick, and once again, our junior associate, Alexa Levendal uh, from Bruno Sima Attorneys, who's blessed us with your presence once again. Uh, so thank you, Alexa, for joining us. And we, got, we have two questions uh, today. One, uh, TPN leases and uh, specifically cancellation clauses, and the second one dealing with uh, nuisance or neighbor law. Um, we'll start, we'll begin with Alexa, and Alexa, we'll go into the TPN lease, uh, spe more specifically the cancellation clause, right? Uh, our viewer would like to seek clarification regarding this clause that's in the lease agreement. More specifically, her question is, does this uh, clause exclusively pertain to the specified lease term as outlined in the agreement, or does it remain applicable in the event uh, the contract transitions into a month-to-month -month agreement, allowing the landlord, of course, to provide with one calendar month notice in case of the property sale. Alexa? Okay, um, I'm obviously answering this question as someone who hasn't actually seen this specific lease agreement, so I'm just going to answer it in general. Um, when it comes to cancellation of a lease agreement once it has turned into month-to-month, -month, um, we would generally give our 30, 30 calendar days um, and that is what the calendar, sorry, that is what the um, a Rental Housing Act would request from us. Obviously, if it hasn't gone into month to month, then it would still be as per the lease agreement. But once it goes into month to month, generally most of the terms of the contract apply in month to month. But because it's gone to month to month, you just give 30 calendar days notice for to vacate. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Alexa. So there we have it. Uh, so that deals specifically with the cancellation clause in the TPN lease 